Right, let's have a look at these uh, year 8 math questions. Okay, this question that literally give us a rectangle and then we have some uh, quilateral which is not the trabezium. This one is definitely not the trabezium. It's uh, just a random quilateral. And then over here, they say something like, oh, area of shaded region is 26. But so basically, I know the shaded area here is basically 26 centimeters square. They ask us to calculate the area of rectangle. Okay, since this is a year eight question, so at first I thought it's like, um, should be quite easy because one of my students actually asked me how to do this. So I just, uh, first thing come into my mind is solve it using the algebra. So I just let the length is x and then the width is y. Then I can just assume, oh, here will be x minus five. And then this one will be y minus four. And then I will just use the algebra to solve it. And eventually solve my duty. Uh, halfway, I realized I stuck. <laughs> I stuck for a while because I realized it's quite hard to solve using uh, the algebra. Some more in the exam, uh, I believe this question is like three to four mark only. So definitely, uh, it shouldn't spend so much efforts to solve it. Yeah. So after a few try and research, <laughs> I realized this one have another methods, which is the faster and easier way to solve it. Yeah. If you not believe me, you feel free to pause the video and try it out yourself. Yeah. You can pause it now. All right, I assume you already tried it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether you will get the answer or not. But yeah, I just teach you another way, which is the, I would say it's faster way of solving uh, this kind of question. Okay, the idea is uh, quite simple and straightforward. Okay, let's say I have a random uh, rectangle. I don't care what is the rectangle side. It can be a square or any rectangle side. Okay, if, if I have a, uh, diagonal I mean I actually cut this uh, rectangle into the half through the diagonal I just cut like this then you should be able to see there's a two right angle triangle do you see the first right angle triangle and the second right angle triangle here so this one I'm going to call area A for the first right angle triangle the second one I call uh, area 2 so first I want you to see through both of the triangle is both of the triangle have the same area here? So I, I'm confident to say that area 1 will be same with the area 2. Okay, by understand this concept, so what I want to do right now is, I'm going to cut this one into as many rectangle as possible and all this line, I will make it become my diagonal here. Okay, this is what I will do. So I will just Try my best to make this one look like a, a perfect rectangle. Yeah, so I will cut like this, the first thing. So this one is a rectangle, and this one will be the diagonal of this rectangle. Okay, then here I will just cut like this again. Okay, assume this is a rectangle, and this one will be a diagonal of my this rectangle. Alright, and then this one I will cut like this. Okay, this one will be rectangle. And the middle line will be the diagonal of the rectangle. And yep, the last line, maybe I cut like this. So you should be able to see this is a rectangle as well. And this one will be a diagonal of the rectangle here. Okay, then the next thing um, I want to do is, yeah, I will, I will labor it. Okay, so first thing is maybe this one I will call it area. I will just call this one as the area 1, this one will be area 2, okay, area 1 will same with area 2, huh? alright, then here I will say it's area 3, then this one is area 4, so at least I know triangle 3 will same with the triangle 4, and then here will be area 5, here will be area 6, okay, and then here will be area 7, and then here will be area 8, okay, each of the area here represents by the uh, the area of triangle. The last area, 9 here, yeah, is just a rectangle. And then we can find this rectangle easily, right? So, yeah, I'm not going to call this an area 9. I just find uh, what is this area of uh, rectangle here. Okay, since the whole thing is 4 cm, top is 1. Then here is 4, right? Minus 1. So it's not hard to guess this length over here. I mean, from here to here should be three centimeter, right? Here will be three centimeter. Okay, if the whole thing here is five, 
and here is 2, then here will be 5 minus 2, here is another 3 centimeter. Yeah, because this one is, is, is not so perfect, alright? So, because this one doesn't look like 3 and 3, I know, but it just, just assume it's not in the same ratio <laughs> or, or same scale. So, yeah, this one is not in scale. So, this area of rectangle is 3 times 3, isn't it? So, I can say meter is 9 centimeter. Okay, since I know the area of uh, shaded region is 26, so how to get 26 here? So basically, I can see it's area 2 plus area 4 plus area 6 and then plus area 8, which is this triangle, right? And then plus the meter 9 equals to 26, isn't it? 26 centimeters square because all this triangle we add together plus 9 we will get about 26 okay at the same time we understand area 1 actually area 2 actually same with area 1 because 2 and 1 they are the same and then area 3 uh, I mean this one is area 4 actually same with area 3 isn't it so I just write down the same area here so like Area 6 actually same as area 5, isn't it? Then the area A is actually same as area 7, isn't it? Okay, so all, all this white color one basically is the non shaded area, isn't it? A1 plus A3 plus A5 plus A7. I just need to know what is the non shaded area. Here will be non shaded area so i can get a conclusion is since here they are the, totally the same i just need to move the 9 to the other side it's just like 9 i mean 26 minus 9 right so 26 minus 9 i will get 17 in there so if non-shaded area is 17 shaded area is 26 so i know area of rectangle is basically equals to the shaded area plus the non-shaded area in the net. So which is 26 plus 17, which is 43 centimeter square. Okay, this is how I get the area of the rectangle. Basically, I just plus all the non-shaded area with the shaded area plus all together, then I will get the area of rectangle. Yeah, this method is much more easier than you using the algebra X and Y to solve these kind of questions. I'm not sure you find this method useful to you or not. Anyways, I hope at least you learned something from my video. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.